Hello friends, this is lesson number 63 in the series of British Literature in English. Today, in this lesson, we shall consider John Lilly. So, in the last few videos, we are discussing the university wits. And so far, we have discussed the university wits from Cambridge. And these are Christopher Marlowe, then Robert Greene, and then Thomas Nash. And now, we have the university wits from Oxford. So, the first name we have, that is John Lilly. He was born in the year 1553 and died 1606. He is well-known dramatist of the Elizabethan age. And he is famous for his work, that is Euphies. Euphies. And from this word, we have the term Euphism. We shall talk about this work in brief, but first remember that he wrote only comedies and he never wrote any tragedy. And his famous work is Euphies Anatomy of Wit that was published in the year 1578. And then another work, Euphies and His England that was published in the year 1579 or 1580. In Greek language, this word, Euphies, from that language this word is taken. The meaning of this word is gracefully witty. So if someone is there and he is capable of making the fun of others or creating humor respectfully, that is called Euphies. And in these works, Lily tells the people that how to carry out their daily routine work, their life activities, how can they perform these works in more polished and sophisticated manner. And he discusses all these things in very funny way. And one more thing that the title he adopted from the work written by Roger Ascham and the work is Schoolmaster. So remember Euphies, this title is taken from the work written by Roger Ascham that is schoolmaster in this playlist of british literature we have a lesson on roger ascham and that is lesson number 37 where we discussed his life and his works the two important works he has written the first of course the schoolmaster and the second is toxophilus where he talked about archery Remember, John Lilly wrote the two words, Euphies, Anatomy of Wit, and then Euphies and his England. And from this word, Euphies, we have the term Euphism. Actually, Euphism is a writing style where the writer is using too many literary devices to produce a good effect in the writing, like uh, alliterations, uh, similes, oxymorons, hyperboles, so many different literary devices the writer is applying knowingly to bring an effect in the writing. Okay, apart from these two important works, we have several other works. I'll just uh, read out their names because some of the works have some relation with the works of the great William Shakespeare. The first comedy we have that is Endymion that was published in the year 1591. Endymion, the subtitle to it, The Man in the Moon. The Man in the Moon. And one more thing, this title might attract your attention because by this name Endymion, we have a famous poem written by the romantic writer that is John Keats. So remember, Endymion is also the name of a comedy written by John Lilly. Then we have another play by him that is The Woman in the Moon. So first Endymion, The Man in the Moon and the second The Woman in the Moon published in the year 1597. After this we have Midas that was published or performed in the year 1592. Midas you might have read some children's stories related to King Midas, uh, the king who got somewhat like uh, a magical blessing that whatever he touches that become 
gold and eventually he touches uh, his eatables and then even his daughter everything became gold so that story is taken from this play that is Midas then we have another play by him that is Mother Bombay published or performed in the year 1594 and then we have a play by him that is Love's Metamorphosis Love's Metamorphosis published in the year 1601 and that work inspired William Shakespeare to write Love's Labors Lost so Love's Metamorphosis written by John Lilly inspired William Shakespeare to write Love's Labors Lost and then one more play by him that is a comedy Galatia published or performed in the year 1592 and from this work William Shakespeare got influenced and he wrote Midsummer's Night's Dream Midsummer's Night's Dream so these were the all important works that we had for John Lilly so that is all for this lesson try to remember that John Lilly never wrote any tragedy he wrote only comedies and his important work Euphies Anatomy of Wit and Euphies and his England and from Euphies we have the term Euphism and the title for this work is taken from the Roger Ascham's School Master and other works I have just recited their name remember Endymion is a play written by John Lilly and also Endymion is the name of a poem written by romantic poet John Keats so that's all for this lesson thanks a lot for watching this lesson and have a great day